This is Jcraft here. Today I'm going to show you how to do 2D effects in Sony Vegas, which means uh, glowing 2D objects. It's actually pretty simple to do, and let me show you what clip we're going to do it on. We're doing it over this Twixter uh, slow mode cinematic of a, di a guy dying. So you can pretty much do it with anything, with a clip or anything, but I'm just going to use that as an example. Okay, so what you want to do is find a silhouette. That's a silhouette, and if you do not how to spell know how to spell that, um, I suggest you go back to middle school because it's a really simple word. But what you want to do is search it up on Google Images and and find a picture of a silhouette that you want. And this is a silhouette of a soldier, so I I just typed in soldier silhouette and found this one. This one is the best looking one, and you'll see it's like this and what you want to do is go to, um, let's see, what do you call it? For some reason while I'm looking for this effect, I keep on messing up on where to find, oh, it's called invert. And you want to drag on 100% inversion onto it. And that should make it, uh, the soldier white, and like, it's the whole opposite and that's really good so you want to right click and insert new video track and drag it above your clip and you'll see that there's this really crappy black outlining what you want to do is go over here click on this thing and click add and that should get rid of it now a problem for me is uh when i'm trying to get it to a certain place sorry about that um it, it tends to get messed up so i don't really know how to fix that but if you make it smaller, you could sort of make it, I don't know, but I'm going to make it 16.9. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And if you don't have magic bullet looks, you don't have to do diffusion to do this. You could just go to glow and drag on any one of these. Well, drag on reset tonight and copy down my settings. Um, this is these are the best settings, and it should look like that now. It should be glowing. And someone requested this. Uh, I forgot, but it's in the comment of a comment on my last video. And last but not least, I want to add a transition. So just drag on fades that aren't too long. Okay, so I like adding pretty smooth transitions like spin that's a really good one and it spins okay um, it's kind of laggy but I'm gonna show you whoops sorry about that okay so it basically flips the character over which is, I find is pretty nice and you can also do some other ones you can also do um, another one I like is is gradient wipe they have a whole variety of them um you could add turbulent noise that's a really nice one uh, even though you can't really see it let me just change my previous setting that's why i was lagging see it looks really nice another one you could add is um nebula but i'm not gonna get too much into the transitions you just want to add one in the beginning and one in the end and that, that's it it's really simple. And you could do this with pretty much anything, not just soldiers. You can do it with, um, what do you call them, Illuminati eyes. I did one of them. I did that in one of my videos. And a lot of people are like, what the fuck? You know? Um, it's pretty funny. But let me show you how it looks finally. And, well, how it finally looks. Sorry about that. It's getting kind of late. Well, not really late. But I'm getting kind of sleepy from doing all these tutorials, but it looks really nice, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.